Welcome back, everybody, to Erotic Wisdom, the fascinating wonderment to be living in a body. And here today in my beloved studio, the laboratory of love that is my home, that is the extension of my body, <laughs> I've got beautiful Leonard, Leonard Lowe. <laughs> All right, so here we are together today, and Leonard is a dear friend of mine, and today I, I invited him here with the intention of having a chat around his book because he just released a beautiful book called Jump and it's a memoir <coughs> of his um, last five years journey into this uh, season, the new season of your life. <laughs> <laughs> so the book is about, uh, I think, four years journey around the world. Is it a four years um, journey? Yeah, five, you're around about five years, yeah. Yeah. yeah, four or five years. Yeah. Wow, that's half a decade. Mm. It's a beautiful long journey. <laughs> and um, um. yeah, and I speak about his, how he transformed and expand, <clears throat> expanded his life from being uh, involved in corporate and business and financial world to now being imbibed into the um, spiritual and sexual exploration and self-development and the enjoyment of being living in a body. I guess you really embody now the fascinating wonderment uh, to be living in a body. And there is a lot of erotic wisdom that comes through your book. That's why I think you're a very appropriate guest of this show. Yes, amazing. Yes, you're right. Four or five years around the world, 35 countries. Um, yeah, just really living the the magic of the universe and you're open to and receptive to to the magic that's all around us that we don't always see so really open and expand it and yeah. it's, it sounded you now when i read the book that was your introduction to erotic wisdom to the the wise way to live in the world according to the wisdom of the body instead of just following the <coughs> The mind that tricks and trigger and avoids and is terrified to be discovered and uncovered and 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 the body longing for true connection and with with humans with self but also with reality at large with nature and um, the invisible realm. It's really it's been really beautiful reading your book actually because. Uh, yeah, it's it's very vulnerable, you know, one thing. I mean, your book, the beginning of your book is highly erotic, border, borderline uh, hot pornography, <laughs> which is like uh, really catchy because I remember a lady gave me the book uh, when I collect the book, your book, another friend passed it on to me. And she told me, you make sure you bypass the first few chapters because it's quite intense, but then it gets better. And when I picked the book, I thought, fuck, the first three, four chapters were really, really hot. And I thought, really, what do you mean it gets better? It can't get better than this. <laughs> so I think you, you started it in a, in a really good way. You know, I, I really honor you. It was very courageous because, of course, you really exposed yourself. Mm. Mm -hmm. And and I think coming from a con conservative background and, and work, and yeah, there is, everybody's going to read your book. Your work colleague, your kids, mm -hmm. your ex-girlfriend, mm -hmm. your friend that maybe had no clue about your life, and you really open yourself, mm -hmm. was very real, made it really, really real. No, thanks. It, I mean, for me it was... Now, I just, when I wrote this book, you know, a memoir, I thought if, I, if I'm going to write a memoir, if I'm not authentic and open, you know, why bother? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I think that first part, and it's this, you know, this basically the first 20, it's only about 25, 30 pages of the 260 pages or so, about that five, five years in Cape Town before I left, you know, the crazy wild times in Cape Town. But, you know, it's, it was so important to be authentic and to be real about that. Because later in the book, you know, I write about a lot of other stuff and a lot of, you know, learnings and awakenings and awarenesses and stuff, you know, and to be authentic about that, you know, without being authentic about the stuff before, you know, you know it's not really, you know, that's not really fully authentic. Yeah. So I really, I, I felt it was important to, to put it out there, you know, and that's, I often say, you know, there's so much written and spoken about uh, women's sexuality, but very little about men's sexuality yeah? and men's vulnerability and, and yeah, the, 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 you know, the, 
and, and I spoke to someone actually at the same uh, festival at, at uh, the learning plan. I had this discussion in a group at some point, and I said, spoke to some people, and I actually something I said, and someone asked a question, and we spoke about the vulnerability of the of the of the lingam of the cock of the penis, you know. And some of the women were really surprised that you know that a man can be actually. I'm actually quite vulnerable now who I penetrate because I'm, I'm you know, the, the vulnerability of your, of your cock, you know, so I'm very, it's, and, and that's the beauty of this journey. So it started very much, you know, dropping into my emotions and my feeling, you know, so I was very much in my masculine um, before and in this journey of the five years, you know, dropping into my emotions and dropping into the feminine you know, feminine parts of, 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 sure. of myself. Yeah, but when yeah. you become vulnerable, then sexuality becomes a practice to enter life, not to escape it. Yeah, that's exactly. But to really enter the wisdom of living. That's exactly. And then that's, you know, further in my book, I talk so much about that, you know, like making love to women is like, you know, with an open heart is then you're ready to get to know God, you know. Yes. <laughs> Making love with God and with the universe when you do that. Yeah. Yeah, because it's trippy also when you go heart first instead of oh, head first. Oh, man, I was, and you know, there's some parts in the book there where you're in Prague and, you know, and later in the book when I you know, connected there with a beautiful woman and, uh, and afterwards, you know, uh, I was there for two, three months living in Prague and afterwards we got walked out next to the river after making love for like two, three hours. We had beautiful love making. And fuck, I was high, you know, as high as, higher than any drug I've taken before, you know, just walking there and it would last like hours and into the next day, like super high. And that is just from making love without anything, you know, no, yeah. any other. Because you develop this heightened sense of perception in the body, sure. the whole body gets sure. awakened and that's what's the sure. full body orgasm. That's it. Yeah. But what happened with me what, in one of the, um, um, <clears throat> you know, initiations, six day workshops, um, that's probably more in, called an initiation than a workshop, you know, these six day in, residential in, uh, initiations that, that, that we went through, I did quite a number of them. The first one I did in Hawaii was where um, we did the, the sacred spot massage, you know, first the yoni massage, you know, with, 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 with women, and then the women did it on the men. Um, and uh, yeah, so the, so the women that I chose, you know, it's like a nature selection, you don't even know who you're going to get. And damn, you know, that's vulnerable, you know. So yeah, I am, I've never had any, apart from a prostate check with, <laughs> with a doctor, <laughs> any kind of anal penetration before. And yeah, I'm lying on my back um, with my legs open and this, you know, woman in front of me doing the massage. And then at a point, she asked me the question, are you ready? Are you ready? Can I penetrate you now? And I can't tell you, Valentina, what... Um, immense download I had that the moment she asked mm. me that question I really got it but not from a mind point of view but from a full embodiment point an experiential point of view I really got it what it is to be a woman and the vulnerability of a woman lying on her back and being penetrated because yeah I was in the same situation you know my legs open I was fucking nervous um <clears throat> it's beautiful and a, um, a tiny woman that was doing the massage in me and and when she asked that question I had so much gratitude in my heart for her it mm. immediately relaxed me mm. you know and then you know she proceeded with a with a with a, with a, with a sacred spot male sacred spot massage which is the prostate gland. which is the prostate gland and uh, when I was lying there and the music was playing and I just dropped into such into the into into such compassion uh, kind of almost kind of get emotional just thinking about it now. Mm -hmm. um, I dropped into such compassion for womanhood. Mm. You know, I actually felt, you know, the hurt and the, you know, the damage over the f f thousands of years that has been caused to women. You know, mm. I'm sure to men also, but but for that in that point of view, I felt, I felt mm. the inner. My inner kind of womanhood, it wasn't a mind thing. I could, mm. I could, I could feel almost the woman inside me. Mm. And I could f connect with the consciousness of womanhood. Mm. And you remember, this is now the guy, you know, at the beginning of that training, when, you know, we had one of the emotional release exercises, you know, from also like kind of started connecting with emotions. And, but, you know, but prior to that, 
the last time I cried was, at, I think it was a primary school, you know, so mm. I wasn't really a guy going around crying a lot, you know. <laughs> so it was a beautiful experience stepping into that and a way to do it, to not just into the emotional body, but also to, to, to tap into the, into the inner feminine. Mm. And I'm a really firm believer, as Osho says, you know, that, you know what, what you know in your mind or what you read in books, that, that's all cool, but it's just borrowed. It's only the mm. stuff you really, really experience mm. that's yours. And um, I wanted to get you to talk a little bit about the, how the, the book end because I, feel, I also felt it was quite beautiful how it ends with the death of your father. Mm -hmm. So again, there is this journey through masculinity. That's mm -hmm. how I see it in, mm -hmm. the, in the book. And, and the way you sit with him, it's so tender. <coughs> and, and, and perhaps, do you think you were able to be so present with him because you explore your sexuality as a man in, in those years previous to his dying, very close to his dying. And then mm -hmm. there was a presence in your body and a lack of fear to be mm -hmm. able to be tender with another man. No, for sure. I mean, if, if, if that happened, you know, his death happened, you know, let's say prior to this five years ago, I would have handled it totally different. I mean, I've got no doubt about it. I had the question the other day and I would have been very, you know, sad. It would be difficult to handle it. And, and me and my dad luckily had a, had a great relationship and me and my mom was, I'm, I'm very blessed. That, so you know, know. Um, but then, you know, when this death happened after this five, seven year on this journey, yeah, it was just so different, you know. I, I, I mean, I actually, I, I was saying the other day and, and um, I wasn't, when he died, died I, I wasn't sad. Mm. I don't get sad when people die anymore. Mm. I mean, there's a tenderness, um, and but there's not the sadness of that and a loss and all of that. I mean, he was 78. 78. He had a beautiful life. Him and I had a beautiful, you know, we had a great relationship. We had we had good times, you know, the, you know, good bad, good times, bad times. But we had a beautiful beautiful times together in this physical reality. And when he left this reality, it was just he was just moving to another form. No, so it's no loss really, and I felt the next day, and especially, the, and I still feel him. You know, I actually feel him in the room now, <laughs> um, and I, and I, I felt the next day, and then I went up the coast, the west coast, finishing the book, and I could feel him around me, and that's when I wrote actually that chapter. It was like a week, uh, a few weeks after, after he died, I wrote the, one of the last chapters, and second or third last chapter, and uh, I could feel him around him, and I was in such an and immense body knowledge that um, in a way nothing has really changed. He's still there. Um, yeah, so he asked me, you know, one day, and this is, this is, and I mean, he was really kind of on his last legs, you know, Parkinson's, advanced cancer, and, um, but still quite his mind, still quite awake. And then one day he just asked me, it was just me and him in a room, and he asked me, um, um, you know, you know, on my journeys around the world, you know, the last five years around the world and all of that, and I obviously know what I was doing in this whole spiritual awakening path. Um, he asked me, so have you, do you know, have you found out where do we go when we leave this earth? And yeah, I could just, you know, I gave him the answer, uh, yeah, I answered him and basically just said to him, you know, um, yeah, there's nothing he, he has to do, you know, we... Uh, and you know, he's before before dying. Um, all the stuff we were told about heaven and earth and all of that—that's all bullshit. Um, and we are perfect as we are, as we are. We come to this world perfect as we as we are, and, and uh, he's perfect as he is. And that his spirit won't die, and neither would my spirit die. And that our spirits will always be together. Mm. So if people, if anybody would like to get in touch with you, <clears throat> where would they find you? Beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm very much open to, to exploring, you know, yeah, doing some, been asked to do some, uh, some workshop shops and I've done some, you know, with couples and uh, on the sexuality space and, and also open, you know, people are just from a guiding, coaching, magician kind of way. Uh, people trans, trans, transforming, trans, you know, transformation happening to them, similar that has happened to me. I wish I had someone to speak to when this was happening to me of five, course. seven years ago. So I'm very really much open to that. I'm very much an open v vessel for now for the energy of the universe to, to take me wherever, you know, to, for life to live me. And uh, 
So the book is called Jump, and uh, where where is on Amazon also? Yes, it's it's on. So it's on all the uh, the, Book the bookstores in, in South, South Africa. Africa. Exclusive books and bargain books and uh, Wordsworth. Uh, you know all the major bookstores. Very grateful that it's. I always wanted to be traditionally published. So it's out there, and I believe with Melinda Ferguson, we did a beautiful product. <laughs> Crazy yellow color. It's good to be. Crazy yellow color. <laughs> Crazy yellow color with a jump on the front, uh, on the front with a with a little f- man jumping off the word jump. And if people wants to get in touch with you personally, can I put down your email in the description of this episode? Yes, please do. Um, it's it's and, and you're open for connection. I'm open and... for connection. Yes, I mean there's there's there's, there's a web my website is, is lenatlove.com. Okay. Yes, and, and apart from the bookstores, it's also available available on Amazon.com. Uh, both, um, both the Kindle and the paperback. For the international edition, the paperback is also there for for people from overseas that want the, the book itself. It's available there, and then obviously the Kindle also, and it's just under Jump and Leonard Low, with my crazy spelling L E N E R D, and then Low L O U W. So awesome! Thank you so much for saying yes and to be here with us, and I hope uh, your book really made uh, make a great <coughs> success and and uh, awaken so many more people. So Thanks, Valentina. <laughs> it's, it was, I really enjoyed this. It's beautiful talking to you. It was wonderful being in your energy. Yeah. I'm very grateful. Thanks, thanks for that. Yeah, wonderful. love you badly. Yeah, <laughs> ciao. <laughs> ciao, ciao.